now back on set on Breaking Tech. I'm sitting with Christian Ruiz, you're the CCO of Our Vision Games. Well, I'm saying Our Vision, but should I say AR Vision? Uh, we could say both, because it's about augmented reality, but uh, our vision games is okay. So, I mean, uh, from what I understand, you're all about gaming, but like we've never imagined. Yes, so what we are trying to do is like a Netflix for AR content. So today you have um, platforms to play movies, to play uh, videos, but there is no platform to play AR content. So we are starting by uh, developing a platform called uh, Aridol, where we are going to find dozens of games uh, about AR and starting with uh, escape games. Well, that's definitely a great riddle to me. Uh, so you're uh, definitely a leading provider on augmented reality collaboration and gaming solution. Um, how do we actually make these extended realities, I'm talking about AR, VR, XR, MR, name them, into gaming? Yes, so what we choose is to develop uh, more than VR is the AR, and we are really, um, uh, innovating with a multiplayer um, feature. Because making multiplayer in VR or any kind of game is quite uh, usual, mm -hmm. but in AR it's more complicated because you need to take count of the environment that doesn't exist, and two players that are not in the same place yeah. uh, can be in the same virtual place, and we are uh, synchronizing the situation for the, uh, for the players in all the places. Well, which is an extraordinary uh, effort when it comes to uh, you know fostering these kind of technologies, from what I understand. And, and XR is definitely on the rise. Uh, the French XR comedy has published an interesting study a couple of weeks ago, uh, underlining the potential of VR, AR, again, extended reality, in terms of creativity, of course, but also of market. It's a business endless. Uh, yes, because uh, about uh, augmented reality escape games, we can make uh, missions about any topic, so sports, uh, movies, uh, horror, everything. So now that we have the platform, uh, we just need now to add content mm -hmm. uh, in this platform, and we are going to open this platform to other studios for them to be able to uh, create uh, games and then put them in the in our platform. Like when you make uh, a movie, you are put it in YouTube, then you can make your AR game and then put it in the uh, Aridol platform. Wow, definitely sounds like open innovation to me. And uh, you're unveiling here at VivaTech this year a brand new series, it's called Save the Cup, yeah. and it's been developed in partnership with Un Mayo Pour la Vie, uh, the NGO supporting children facing adversity. Gaming and AR are definitely great tools for impact. Yes, this is a, a great project that we have with this association called So Un Mayo Pour la Vie. Mm -hmm. uh, so this association takes care of kids that are in hospital for a long time. So we had the idea to make a, a special escape game for them to be able to play from their bed and transport them thanks to the augmented reality to a chocolate factory, to an Egyptian pyramid. So we did the mission in three, uh, the series of three episodes, Save the Cup, is about the, the World Cup that has been stolen, and then we need to find it back because the final is the day after, so we need to find the cup to be able to give it to the final. That's an amazing story, and I guess an amazing game. So let's save the cup together. Thank you so much, Christian Reis, for stopping by Breaking Tech.